Although the refrigerant has thrown off some of the heat as it passes through a condenser. It is still hot, with temperature at about 50 Celsius. The refrigerant in high temperature and high pressure liquid flows into expansion valve. The refrigerant which used to flow in large space now passes through narrow area, and its pressure drops as it goes. When the pressure drops, temperature drops dramatically as well. The cool refrigerant is now sent to an evaporator. Expansion valve are connected to sensible heat storage that detects heat. Sensible heat storage is installed on the exit of an evaporator and detects temperature. Inside the storage is fluid sensitive to temperature changes and as the temperature at the exit of an evaporator rises. The gas pressure rises which in turn presses on a spring to send more refrigerant to evaporator. When the amount of refrigerant going into evaporator surges, cooling emission surges too. When the temperature at the exit of an evaporator drops, gas pressure drops and the amount of refrigerant going into evaporator in turn drops too. Applying the above principle, an air conditioner controls the amount of refrigerant injected into an evaporator to prevent overcooling. 